Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remove tourists from photos in Photoshop. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at how we can remove tourists from our images in Photoshop. Now, I have two views of the same scene, and we're going to remove the tourists from the final image. Now ideally if you were shooting this and you knew ahead of time that that was what you wanted to do, you wouldn't move from one shot to the next and you would probably place your camera on a tripod so that you would get the two images and you would have exactly the same portion of the building in each of the images and you wouldn't be moving from one shot to the next. Now that's not how I shot these. These are hand shot and there are actually three or four images in the sequence between these two images and they're not of this building so I was obviously moving around quite a bit at the point that I shot these images. So they're not going to line up perfectly but they are going to still work pretty well in removing the tourists from these images. When I'm looking to remove tourists from an image, what I need to make sure is that I've got some image to use. So if I'm looking at these two women here and if I were wanting to remove them, I need to make sure that I've got detail of the bicycles that are behind them somewhere else. And if we look at these two people here, we need a clear shot of what is behind them to be able to put these two images together. For everything in these images that is covered by tourists, I have something that I can use. So these are going to be good contenders for this process. I'm going to target this image first of all, and then I'm going to select everything in the image by choosing Select All. And then I'll choose Edit, Copy. And that copies the entire contents of this image to the clipboard. Now I'm going to target the second image and choose Edit Paste. And if we have a look at the Layers palette here, we can close this first image and have a look at the Layers palette. We have both versions of the image in the same image here, one as each layer. And you can see very clearly when I click to turn one of these off that they're not at all lined up. There is no way that these two images are perfectly lined up. So before we do anything, we need to align them. In Photoshop, we do that by clicking on one layer and shift click on the second layer. And then we're going to choose Edit and we're going to choose Auto Align Layers. And we get this Auto Align Layers dialog. So we're just going to select Auto and then click OK. And Photoshop goes ahead and lines up these two layers so that the key elements in the images are lined up. Let's look and see this time what happens when I turn off the top layer. Well, the tower's not moving this time and it's not moving because the two images have been aligned. So now it's a very simple process of removing the unwanted tourists. And we'll do that by clicking on the topmost layer of these two layers and we're going to add a layer mask. And this is the icon here. When I hold my mouse pointer over it, it says Add Layer Mask. So I'm going to click here to add the layer mask to this topmost layer. With layer masks, I can paint with black or white or gray. So first of all, I'm going to click on the thumbnail for the layer mask because I want to make sure that I'm going to paint on it and not paint black and white paint over my photo. And then I'm going to get the brush. And what I want is a soft brush. So I'm going to select one of these brushes that is very soft. For now, I'm going to wind the opacity up to 100. I'm going to make sure that the mode is normal and that we're working with a brush that has pretty near zero hardness for now. We call that a soft brush. And now I'm going to switch to black because I want to paint on this layer to remove these tourists in the middle. So I'm just going to change my black and white so that black is my foreground color. Reduce the size of my brush a little bit by holding the square or tapping the square bracket key. And now I'm just painting over the tourist I want to remove. 
and what that's doing is effectively poking a hole in the topmost layer so that we can see the layer below. In the layer below there is no tourist in this area, it was just in the topmost image. And there's a tourist here I want to get rid of too. Again making sure that this layer mask thumbnail is selected, I'm going to just paint out this tourist. You can see here as I paint out the tourist I'm coming into a problem where there wasn't any image on the second layer. This image is a little bit smaller than the other one. So I'm just going to paint back in what I can and if I really want to use this area of the image I'm going to need to do a little bit of cloning. So I could clone some of the wall here to make up the extra image here but it's only going to happen at the edges and I'm really not that concerned about that because I'm going to crop this image. What I may be concerned about however is this line because this is the border between the two images. Well I can soften that by clicking on the layer mask again always making sure that I'm painting on the layer mask and not the image itself I'm going to switch to painting with a dark grey something like this. And I'm also going to decrease the opacity to about 50% and now I'm just going to wind up my brush so it's a bit larger and just paint down this line. And what I'm doing as I paint down this line is blending these two images together. If I'm not getting a good enough blend I'm just going to increase the opacity a bit and perhaps even darken the colour I'm painting with just a little bit. And this way I can blend out this seam between the two layers of the image. I want to start light and then just progress as I go to get a better effect. If I'm not getting it perfect the first time, I'm just going to keep building on that effect until I get a seamless blend between these two images. It's no longer visible in the building here but it is a little bit visible in the sky. So I'm going to make sure I have the spot healing brush selected and I'll probably add a new layer just to make it a little bit easier. Make sure I have sample all layers selected and now I can just drag down over the seam and when I let go Photoshop will smooth that area out. And so now I've managed to remove the tourists from my scene and I can just go ahead and crop this image to remove the excess portion of the image that's not working for this scene. I'm just going to drag in here to get rid of that portion of the image. I'm just going to take a bit of the foreground out and let's just check the top of the image and make sure that we've cropped that nicely too. And I'll click to confirm that crop. And here's our finished image without the tourists in it. So these are the tourists in the bottom layer of the image that were removed by us just placing the other image on top and with the mask we were able to remove additional tourists. Let's put our mask back in and this is the final of our image with the tourists removed. I'm Helen Bradley, thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.